Hello and welcome to Lost Food Bar Review. My wife asked me, do we really need to eat meat tomorrow as well? I've been a little bit on to the grill lately. So I said, no, I just cook a vegetable soup on the grill. So let me show you what we got. Okay, there we are. Uh, some potatoes, some beets, a parsnip, uh, half of this turnip, a couple of onions, a leek, a couple of carrots, and uh, I'm gonna make this um, fairly small in size. I'm gonna match stick the beets, the parsnip, the turnip, and the carrots, and I'm gonna cube the potatoes because I'm a little bit scared if I match stick them, they're just gonna fall apart. I'm gonna have the tomatoes and um, slice the, uh, the, the mushrooms as, uh, and then chop the onions. I think that's it. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna make a stock out of um, stock cubes, vegetable stock and water, just like that. Uh, I'm gonna fry everything a little bit just to give it a, a little bit of sauteing before I add it to the soup and then uh, we'll see what it got. So what I really need to do now is um, start peeling all of this and uh, getting it ready to disassemble each and every piece of it. So I'll bring it back when I'm there. There we go. Cubed, halved, sliced, matchsticked, chopped. Okay, so let me bring you over to the grill. Okay, so I'm just gonna add three pints or a quarter and a half of water to this little Dutch oven where the soup is gonna be cooked. Uh, it's on um, direct on the, on the heat now and um, I'm gonna bring it to an indirect uh, place after I've sauteed all the vegetables that go in here. So okay, uh, three quarters of uh, a quarter and a half of water and uh, that's um, three stock cubes at least in my measurements. So I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I'm gonna lose, use a little bit of oil in the frying pan and then I'm gonna do these things Hopefully in the order they need to be done. I want to start with the potatoes because they actually have the, the longest uh, cooking time since they're thicker. And then um, while I'm frying them, I'm gonna figure out what comes next. They don't really need that much. It's gonna take about 15 minutes at a simmer after I've fried everything. So it's gonna be fine. I think we're gonna go with the beets after this. Uh, and then the carrots and the turnip and the parsnip uh, in that order. And then end up with the onions and mushrooms as well as the uh, tomatoes will probably go in un unfried.
could of course add some um, chili to this if you want but it's not a hot dish so I don't really need anything hot in there okay just leave that for a second see if I can get it to a boil and then put it to the side and uh, let it cook under the dome yeah it's simmering all right so I'm gonna put a lid on there put it over here a little bit to the indirect actually a little bit more and I'll meet you back here in about 15 minutes and we're gonna have some olive bread and cheese that over there there we go also have a little roasting pan that um, I'm gonna season anyway back in a bit uh, all done it's a simple vegetable soup for a cooler day perhaps today was a warm day but still works nicely got a little bit of a crunch to it but um, tender not mushy uh, which is good gonna try to find a potato here the hardest ones to get um, perfect and I, I think that was um, anyway uh, now you know how to make a simple vegetable soup thank you for watching bye